Tokyo is one of the most colorful cities of the world, with its temples and pagodas flying out from skyscrapers, complicated and crowded streets, brilliant parks and gardens designed by good landscape architects, hot couture shopping centers as a symbol of Japanese fashion, bazaars known as the paradise of electronics, towers and big wheels in the middle of the city silhouette, sumo fights as a national sport, hot springs generally known as onsen, traditional culinary delights such as sushi, cherry blossom, a hundred yen shops which sell economic stuff for house equipment, origami art, kabuki which is a traditional Japanese theater, perfectly planned railways, and the other transport network, crazy and entertaining nightlife, and many more. There's a blinding riot of colors which surrounds all the city image in this cosmopolitan and poetic city. Tokyo has the most extraordinary examples of modern architecture which are created by the architects who use the newest materials and technology. The source of this colorful silhouette are the billboards, panels, neon lights, advertisements, and etc. It's not so difficult to solve the reason of this complexity of the city image socially. Japanese people have a specific sense of fun and fashion style. It is possible to see people of all ages carrying toys, fancy objects, colorful key cases or shining accessories on mobile phones in daily life. There is always a game salon in every neighborhood for adults and it's easy to say that Japanese people are living in an imaginary world created by themselves like they are living in a cartoon. The image of Tokyo is a result of this creative and colorful lifestyle. The entertaining symbols of the city are usually objects do not exist in the real life such as bleed dolls, lucky cat dolls, tanuki which is a mythological shapeshifter raccoon dog in Japan folk, Hello Kitty or famous anime characters that even can be seen as a giant statue of a virtual character in the middle of the city center. Hello Kitty is one of the most powerful commercial companies that captured the health of the city and Tonuki statues are all over the city with the duty of protection of the city from all the bad things. There is a different texture of architecture almost in every district in Tokyo. Some areas are full of skyscrapers plazas or business offices. These places are much more pure than the places consisting of shops, restaurants, bazaars and markets as commercially. The main problem in the areas which are close to the city center is you can never get rid of the billboards or adverts which are the best method of marketing for the companies. They prefer to use this outdoor media because of the pedestrian circulation in Tokyo. Thousands of people usually use trains or subway to go to work, so that railways are the most efficient option for companies to present their products to a lot of people in one day. These marketing adverts of electronic goods, fashion stuff, computer games, music, cinema, Sports or theater publicity covers up the architectural fabric of the buildings and clothes the real city with a virtual and imaginary ambience which casts a shadow on the artistic value. Tokyo is a huge marketplace that sells its own. Of course, there are some areas which are isolated from these chaotic surroundings, but if we consider it as deductively, 
We see that Japanese people transformed the modern architecture into a kitsch style in the last century. This trend is an insubordinate approach to modern architecture which is represented by using many colors and symbols instead of using form in architecture. The feeling of being different and distinguished of Tokyo is appearing in a kitsch style in architecture depending on the lifestyle of Japanese people. This situation refers to the article of Clement Greenberg, who was an American essayist, which was published in The Nation in April 7, 1945. He said, all profoundly original art looks ugly at first. Mostly known with the high technology of their own, Japanese people never stop working for more and better quality of high-tech. On the other hand, they are devotedly attached to tradition. They have conserved the historical buildings, works of art and their history with a secured respect like many of the European countries did. There is a silent and pure architectural image in some suburban areas of Tokyo. In traditional Japanese houses, they use roofs made from robot kiaki tree rush, floors made from tatami rush, which is a type of mat, paper doors, removable folding screens or sliding panels, furniture which are close to the ground by using organic materials such as wood, bamboo, rush. When you get closer to the city center, traditional houses turn into modern houses and apartments constructed with stainless steel, concrete, glass, ceramic and more. This is where the visual pollution starts. The architectural integrity gets out of order with the increasing color and material diversity. It is possible to see witty touches of designers on some of the buildings if they are not covered with adverts. A big monkey climbing on a building as a symbol of a restaurant. Some funny cows lying on a terrace of a building or balconies shaped as a coffee cup. When this usage of inharmonious materials come together and the joining of the buildings which are away from modernism, the image which is created just strengthens the cosmopolitan atmosphere of the city silhouette. As a result, Tokyo is a great city which has a unique soul and a special architectural image. This image is created by a good combination of colors, adverts, buildings, streets and people. The lifestyle of Japanese people interacts with the structure all around the city and it causes an unexpected silhouette inside the daily life. It is good not to argue whether it's modern, postmodern, kitsch or another style. Tokyo has its own architectural style which cannot be compared to another city all over the world.